hi everyone architect my here today we are going to be learning how to design 3d corner text effect yeah let's start by creating a file or the canvas size we are going to use 1920 by 1080 pixel then we create on we click on create go to the text tool and write the word you wish to use in this case i'm going to write history using the select tool i'm going to choose the font i'm going to use which is Arial. then increase the font size so that it is visible i'm going to use 180 to split the word or to create a 3d corner text effect we have to split the word into two and to do that we are going to right click on the word click on create outline then right click on it again click on ungroup then after that uh, we are going to choose the letter in the middle of the world split into two sides that when we are designing the word it's uh, subdivided into two then to do that I need a guide so I'm going to be using a ruler let me try to zoom in and T happens to be the letter in the middle of my word, which is history. So I'm going to click on T or select T. Then bring a ruler side so that I select the middle of it. Like that. So I'm going to use the knife tool to divide or cut T into two. So let me first select it, then bring the knife as I'm cutting it into two or dividing it, dividing it, I'm going to hold the shift key, the alt, alt plus shift such that it is straight, then go back to select tool, let's see, yes we've split it then we are going to group the words on the left hand side right click then group do the same with those on the left hand side group then after that we are going to place shift plus p So we are going to be to use what we call the perspective selection tool to align these words here. You can press shift and increase the size. then do the same but on the second word as you are dragging it you have to place three three then place shift to increase the size And we are done with our words. So in this case, we are going to place Control Shift plus I to remove the grids, and we are done with designing the word. Yeah, you can choose to give it a font color. Go to fill, maybe brown gradient if you want to use gradient yeah so that's how we do it choose your favorite color and we are good to go 
so you can just select the all of it and again right click group the word so that's how we do it